Just whenever you're ready. Yeah. I'm gonna think. It's been going. It's gone now? Yeah. It's... Yep. Is there a red light I should be looking at? No. This is it? This is it. Okay. Did you say anything? Anything. Like, just about... I guess your whole... The uh, whole music aspect of your high school career in general. Is it recording? Yeah. Okay. This is Justin to McRoy, or is this like everybody? <laughs> I mean, more so for. Well, I mean, we're leaving the video for McRoy, but it could be about everyone. So am I saying, like, hey, McRoy? I guess. I was not really excited that we were going to be getting a new teacher. At first I was a little apprehensive because I was honestly nervous. As a new course teacher, I didn't know what she would be like. But like, Miss McGray definitely made me. Oh my gosh. It was like a completely different experience, but so much fun. And my time with her just made senior year completely amazing. I, I was able to get into halftones. I was able to perform in vocal jazz. Just like the sweetest yeah. person. And not only that, but like... Like, she's like a good friend type of thing. Yeah, you can talk, I mean? talk to her about anything. Um, Miss McGroy just cares about everything she does. She makes she makes music so enjoyable that you don't even feel like you're doing work. Um, she's more than just a teacher. She's an amazing friend. She's an amazing woman. She's an amazing mother. Um, she really made chorus in my senior year a, the best choice I made. She's so sweet. Yeah. Go with her problems. Like, I, like if she was a student, she'd probably come to our after prom. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> she'd, come, she'd, she'd be, be going, going to our prom. prom. McGroy was just so supportive in everything, not just in chorus, in all, in everything I was doing uh, in music, and she really shaped me as a person, and she really made this music wing a wonderful place to be. Like, I come into the music wing not only to cut classes, but to hang out with people, because this is like you know, this is my life. Like, I came here and, like, I don't know what I'm going to do with these last three days of high school. Like, I don't know what, like, maybe I'll go streak somewhere. Like, I'll figure it out. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I won't streak, I swear to God. Um, <laughs> but. So, this is uh, I love you like a white mother I never you had. Like you. You're like my mom away from my mom. You're my white mother away from my other white mother. I would, I would go more and call you, like, my second mom because you are, because you know that. I like you more than my mom. Don't tell her I said that. I don't know where I don't want to cry, but I can't believe it was over. Oh my gosh, my tears are starting. I miss you so much. You're so cool. And I couldn't, you've helped me so much through a lot of things. And I really love you. And I promise to come back and be a little bit. Um, <laughs> she's crying. <laughs> Sophia! Hey, Miss McRoy, you're Alexandra Trampash, and um, I'm so happy that I was in your class for the past two years. I'm so happy that you came to the school when I was in 11th grade, and I really don't know what I'm going to do from 10, 20 to 11 o'clock next year and all the years of my life because I've been in chorus and for fifth period for the past four years, and I'm just so grateful that I met you. You're such there an amazing is. person, and I love you so much, and I will come and visit all the time. Love you. Alright, so Dr. McCoy, it's been like a phenomenal two years, and I just wanted to say that I love you very much, and you're my inspiration every day. And I really appreciate how you got me into college, and I don't know, I'm gonna miss you. Like, I, I'm gonna think about you every day. Like, you bring a smile to my face every time I wake up. Just know that I love you, and I'm always here for you. Alright? Yeah. Hi, Mrs. McCoy. Start it over. Start it over. I clap. No. <laughs> just, no. Zach, just go. First of all, we're going to start off with I love you. Okay, so, um, <laughs> hi, Miss McRoy. Hi. Hi, um, this is really, I don't, I don't awkward. even know where to start. It's awkward. It's not, like, awkward. It's just, I like, I don't. I camera. Uh, there's okay. so, I can't even, like, I don't even know where to start. You came into this, you know, this school and, like, chorus two years ago. And, uh, you know, it's crazy. It's been two years already. And uh, Hefley had just left, and I remember crying on the last day of school when Hefley was here. And, I like, cried. I wasn't even in chorus yet. <laughs> and, like, we were all upset, and we were like, you know, oh my God, nobody can replace Hefley. And then uh, then you came, and everybody who said that was proven wrong. Yeah. 
It was, uh, I remember, you know, in the beginning, Emily and I saw your, um, your e-board, and you had, you had actually, like, used it. <laughs> so, like, smiley faces. It was, like, we're smiley faces and everything. And, like, no, there was, like, animations. Work, and the animations yeah, yeah, yeah. had, like, stuff have to, to go to ring, and we were, like, fun. Like, 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 no, stop, 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 stop. Uh, I remember the first two weeks, we all were, like, who's dropping cars? Who's dropping cars? I want to drop cars. Oh, my God. Who's dropping cars? Like, Emily said. She always says, which with the capital B. Yeah. We were all, like. You're not funny. Oh. You're not funny. Fuck off. No, Don't when you. Emily raised her hand the first yeah. day of course, the first time McRoy was here, she goes, what, what grade do we get? What do we, what do we start off with if we don't go to any lesson? I raised my hand and I said, um, what, what's going to happen if I just don't go to lessons? And um, I raised my hand and I said that and she, you, you said, <laughs> Um, well, you will start off with 75. <laughs> and I was like, all right. I work real fast. If I had to think of one of the coolest things that you did as a teacher, which were always there for me with help for school, whether it's going to the library or studying during class. And yeah, I had a lot of fun in your class. And I want to thank you. And if I come back, I definitely will visit you. I'm going to miss it so much. So much. No, we're definitely coming back like every day. I'd love to come visit you when I go to college. Honestly, chorus was always the one time of the day that I would look forward to the most. And um, that definitely did not change, especially once McRoy came here. She was honestly one of the best chorus teacher teachers overall that I've ever had. And um, she taught me way more than just music. She taught me how to be a good person and qualities that would like change who I am for the rest of my life. And not only did she help my singing and the music part of my life, but she changed everything about me, and I'll never forget her for that. Miss McRoy, you um, inspired me to try out for the play, even though I couldn't really like go in it because I had surgery on my feet. But you inspired me to do that, and I hope you have a great year with the next um, freshmen that are coming in. Um, of course, this year was definitely like an amazing experience, and I have Miss McRoy to thank for that. Like honestly, I have never seen a teacher care about what she does and her students the way that Miss McRoy does really is like absolutely incredible and she's given me so much confidence in myself and she's just like so encouraging unlike any human being I know. She's just like incredible. She's an amazing person, amazing teacher. I'm gonna miss you so much Miss McRoy. Thank you for everything. Wow. Four years. That's a lot. Hi, I'm Zach Z are you gonna follow me? <laughs> Please start over. Start over. Start over. I'm I'm gonna cut it. Okay, so. okay. Wow. Four years. That's a lot. Hi, I'm Zach. <laughs> You're going to keep laughing. You're going to have to reboot it. No, I'm not, I'm, not, right. I'm not laughing. I'm just smiling. Yeah, all right. Here we go. Last one. Wow. Four years. That's a lot. Hi, I'm Zach. And my time here at the music department has been simply amazing. But it's marked by, of course, uh, when you came, Ms. McCroy, two years ago, uh, it was really uh, such, such a positive experience on my entire life as, as a musician, as a student, as a person. And uh, I, I simply really can't thank you enough for, for all, of, all that you've given me, uh, all that you've given everybody, uh, both as an educator, as a friend, as a colleague, as a musician, everything. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, when we did Hanukkah Suite. That was one of my favorite pieces. I really I had a good time with that. Um, when you gave me um, Jason Robert Brown's email address and subsequently his real address, to which I plan to spend a significant amount of time there this summer, uh, God willing. I hated you the first week of school. Um, like, not really hated you, I just didn't want to give you a chance, so I kind of hated you. And <laughs> now, like, I, I was so sad on just leaving music, never going into it, never thinking about it. And you, like, inspired me to go into music, which I'm not now, but, but I was, and that, thanks to music theory, I don't like it. Can anybody uh, text Paul Grossman? Yeah, he's in the lecture hall. He took my keys. This was my first year taking chorus. McRoy talked me into it at the beginning of the year, and it was such a great decision. I'm so glad I did it. Besides um, enriching my life musically, it was a great musical experience, but McGroy also gave us wonderful life lessons that we're all going to take with us. I know I am out of high school, into college, and into the real world. And being a part of a new uh, ensemble, I'm so used to, to playing instruments in, in ensembles, but singing in a chorus was just wonderful. It was something new I've never done before. You made me 
actually have fun doing something that I never thought I would have fun with doing. And you obviously mean so much to me. You're just like my mentor. You really made it that much better for all of us. And I can honestly say I enjoyed my last few years, of course, much more than my first years. Very different experiences. And you really made me like become the person I am today. My whole high school career revolved around music. And I loved every part about it. I loved vocal jazz. I loved chorus. I loved half tones and everything. And it kind of sucks to see it all go. But I mean, I, I guess that's part of life. You just got to move on and you got to hope for the best. So last year when the new teacher came and everyone's like, oh, she's the one that taught the lesson. I was like, what lesson? I have no idea. I was like, who is this lady? And I didn't even know that, that day that we did OC, was it OC Funi Mungu? And Heavily took a select group into the auditorium to practice the ensemble two part. And I didn't know that you, like, I didn't know who the person that was teaching ensemble once everyone was. And as it turns out, it was you. And. I didn't even get to meet you, and every like every time everyone talks about that experience, I'm just really glad that I wasn't a part of it because I did not want to do yoga. You've been an amazing teacher. Like you've actually cared about how it, whether or not we can read music and how we do and how we sound. It's just something that's really refreshing, and you don't see it too much, especially with an enormous number like what we've got. I want to thank Miss McRoy because she helped me um, do what I want to do because I didn't believe that I had the ability but she helped me and now I believe I can and I will be a music education teacher so that's the same thing. Whoops. Honestly I'm gonna start crying. I can't. No, I no. can't start crying. No, no. Okay, I'll go. okay, let's just okay. remember we had to do the like in the beginning we had to each go in so you could listen to like our range or whatever and you're like, okay, do this. And I was like, ah, I've never been in chorus. And you were like, what? And I was like, yeah, thank Jackie. She Sorry! Okay. <laughs> she brought me into chorus. I just recently joined chorus and the music department. And I'm happy to say that I did not regret any of it. And I wish that I was in the music department three years ago. I love you guys. That is all. You affected me a great deal. I love to sing, and I'm glad that you've accepted me with open arms. You're a wonderful teacher. You locked me in the auditorium and made me write songs uh, and wouldn't let me out, which I think is illegal in some states, but we're still looking into that. You've given me confidence, and you've helped my sight reading and my ear and my musicality, and you just, like, because of you, I'm a better musician, and because of you, I'm... You know, I'm majoring in college. Like, I can say that I did my audition successfully, and I'm, I'm going to be performing for the rest of my life. And, and yeah, I even have your teacher. Is it Tensio? Uh -huh. um, we're going to Tensio. Was your affirmata? <laughs> I, I don't know what you call it, but it's like, you know, your home school, your, uh, your school. Oh, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. All of everyone that was heavily student that was still staying there was talking about how. We were going to drop chorus, how it wasn't going to be the same without Hefley. And we got the second part right, that it wasn't going to be the same without Hefley, but we didn't know that it was going to be better. And I'm really grateful that it was. You showed me that I didn't have to act a certain way or pretend to be something that I wasn't, and that I could just be comfortable being myself, and that I could be confident in my voice, and that I could just use it to show the world how I felt, and that singing songs wasn't just about making pretty notes, that it was telling people stories, and I love telling stories, and I love to talk, and you helped me know that talking and telling stories through music was was more than just um, a pastime and or just a hobby. It could be something that I really loved and I, that I could do something with. And I mean, I'm not studying music in college, but just because I'm doing pre-med doesn't mean I'm going to forget about it. And you really... You really changed my life for the better, Mrs. McRoy, and I tell you that all the time. And you probably think to myself, to think to, your, to yourself, Whitney's losing, she's just scrambling. But I'm really not, and I'm actually very serious, and I want to say thank you. And I hope that you get students that really, um, that really listen to what you say, because you're not just teaching about music, you're teaching about life. And these lessons that I've gotten from your class 
I'll take with the, take with me. I'll take them with me forever. So thank you, Miss McRae. I hope that I hope that uh, you liked me as a student. I'm I'm really liked you as a teacher, and I really liked what you did with the place. I mean. You, you put smiles on people's faces, and that's what it's supposed to be. Okay, so tomorrow and Thursday, we're going to do our mural of handprints. So you guys need to decide as a class two different colors. Red. <laughs> uh, you need to pick what's gross. Red and black. Well, that's hey, last year's seniors. Purple. 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 So your class... <laughs> You need to pick two different colors so that you can each pick your own color. Um, Macaroni and cheese. And they should kind of go. Macaroni. Purple. Green. Green. Purple. Gold. Why not something like gold or silver? It's shiny. Purple. 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 It's shiny. Yeah. Let's pick our first color. How many people vote for silver? How many people vote for silver? <laughs> We're voting on the first color oh, first. Okay. Then we'll do a second vote for the second, second color. Oh, Silver. Idea. Purple. Yeah. Purple. My first color is purple. Yeah. Yeah. Purple, my favorite color. Do you feel so fun cut and play? Yes, I do. Can you please let Jessica down for early dismissal? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Jessica. Clemska. Alright, okay, everyone's purple. Second color, turquoise. Crazy, guys. Those two things are not going to go together. They're just not going to go together. <laughs> Today is gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you By now you should have somehow realized what you gotta do I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now Backbeat, the word is on the street that the fire in your heart is out I'm sure you've heard it all before, but you yeah. know Take a tie. I'll touch you later. <laughs>